What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So recently, I think it's fair to say I've kind of bashed Riot quite a lot, like the balancing the game for money, the RNG Drake stuff. There is a lot more, but you know there is like one thing I actually really like. So for a change, I'm going to say some good stuff about Riot. I also think this can actually help you climb a lot faster too, so it's still going to be a useful video. Let me know what you guys think though, like what your favorite things are and whether you agree with mine or not. Now I don't know if you guys remember, but seasons ago, like our pings were literally just blue little dots on the map. Like they were terrible. They did nothing. There was no like on my way, no danger or whatever. Barely anybody used pings or at least you had to kind of guess what they wanted to do with the ping. Like it was really awkward. So when these pings were introduced like on my way and the danger ping and stuff, they were really good. Like it helped a lot more than you probably realize. You like fresh blood players, I guess. Like, people who have started playing recently, you won't realize how much difference they actually make. Like if Riot took them away for a week, you would miss them so much. One of the most common things I remember was when somebody was in a bush. Like now you can ping danger in a bush where you think someone is. Before you would just ping in there and then your teammate might be like, oh, he wants me to go and stand there. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and just walk into somebody and die. Like, nice and awkward. Plus, he would actually probably blame you after for pinging in the bush and telling him to go in there, even though that's not what you meant. But anyway, my point, okay, is the four ping system we have now is actually really good and I couldn't imagine playing without that now, to be honest. Recently in season six, though, they pushed that one step further, right? That's what my favorite thing is now. You can basically ping anything and show cooldowns now or information about it. Your experience, bar, your mana, your health, ability, and summoner spell cooldowns. By the way, if you don't actually know how to do this, you have never heard of this before, the default keybind for me to do this is pressing alt and then clicking on the thing I want to actually show. But don't just click it though, okay? That would be bad. Don't blame me if you blow your flash clicking on it. You hold down the alt key and then you click it together. This is my favorite thing in season six, like hands down. So useful and it really does help a ton. At lower ranks, it's going to help more than you think it does, but maybe a goal definitely above plat though is really, really good. I've been playing a lot on my unranked to diamond account for my second channel. I'm on like episode 74 or something I think right now and one thing I've really learned is I cannot put myself in my teammates heads. I just cannot work out what they're thinking or why they do things. A lot of the time to be honest it's because they don't have no idea like why they are doing the thing in the first place. I guess it's a whole different problem. My point is this is a system where you are telling them what is in your head. You are letting them see what you're thinking and what you want to do. You don't have to like guess what your team is thinking anymore if you put them on the same page as you by using these dynamic pings. Obviously, it's not quite as easy as this. I wish it was, but that's one of the reasons I like it so much. Like, even if they are crap at telling you what they want to do, they should know what you want to do, and hopefully they will just follow that. The more someone knows, really, in a game, the more likely they are to make the correct choice. So if they know you have heal or you don't have it, they might make a different choice. Well, that's kind of the idea anyway. You'd hope they make a different choice. Now, I don't really see many people actually using this, so I really just wanted to talk about it in a video, how I use it and what I think you can get out of it. So hopefully people are going to appreciate this a bit more, and it can help you. I've actually gotten a lot more kills or played fights way better just because I've used these kind of dynamic pings and had more information. I keep using that name actually but I don't know if that's like the proper name for them or not by the way. It sounds good so I'm going to use it. If it's not then there you go right you can have that one on me. So the experience bar is one of the bigger ones. Bot lane or any lane I guess like even in the jungle like the key levels so like level 2 or maybe even level 6. Bot lane you do want to try and abuse those two levels so level 2 and level 6 you have bigger advantages than normal levels. It's kind of harder to coordinate that but they will get the idea if you ping your experience bar and then tell them a couple of times combined with like maybe a ping on the enemy as well. The point is it's harder to react if you engage immediately as you hit that level up rather than waiting for the level up. They see it, they're kind of already running away. For like mid top jungle even the bot lane with the jungle camp coming in you can use it to say you're about to be level 6 it's good on champions like Malzahar for example if you're almost level 6 you can kind of ping the experience bar, the jungler's gonna come you ping when super close so they know exactly when to go and they're not gonna like hold off I guess when you flash in an ult. Planning team fights around summoner spell cooldowns is super high level and I've only seen this in my like mid diamond plus games I guess it makes a really big difference but like only for a very few of you I think so I think it's cool though because like as an AD I'm gonna ping my flash cooldown so people know I don't have it and one game actually my Alistair stood next to me in the fight and just peeled for me in fights before this and fights afterwards he had just kind of dived in and left me so I'm taking a guess here but him knowing I didn't have flash made him stay closer and protect me in lane though it does make a lot of difference as well again for ganks and stuff ping it when it's ready and kind of saying okay I have this cooldown ready I'm gonna flash in or you ping it when it's down and you're saying I don't have it and I can't use it. In bot lane though it's really important so every time I'm running back to lane I ping my heal and my flash to let my support know what cooldowns I do or don't have. In theory they're going to play the lane a little bit differently knowing what I do have they don't go as deep without my flash or heal to back them up. Abilities in general are slightly different so when I ping my heal and flash I'm also going to ping my ultimate as well though it's just as important to know that. I think this is a bigger deal in team fights though in my opinion you need to know like who is what going into a fight. Maybe not as much when you're just saying like hey I have my ultimate ready like it's 
soft cooldown. It's more when it's down to say like, hey, wait a minute for my ultimate or wait 30 seconds for my ultimate. I'm not really kidding though when I say I feel like games are so, so much easier when everyone is using these pings together. So I know who is ult. I know who has flash and heal and exhaust and stuff. It makes me make better choices. Now, yes, I do know that the majority of people here are not diamond and in your elo, they're probably not going to use this properly. Like I do honestly get that. On my second channel, I have a diamond five MMR account that I play on where it's used actually quite a lot. But in my unranked to diamond one, which is like plat four, they hardly use it at all. Even though there's hardly any difference between plat four and diamond five. My point here really is more like if you start using this, then it encourages other people to do it as well. But at the very least, you're giving them information and that's never going to be a bad thing. Plus as well, when you actually climb, it's going to be so much better. You'll already be using this stuff and doing it already rather than having to learn it when you're there. So you'll probably breeze through higher ranks a lot quicker. The higher you get, the more people are going to do this. So trust me though, the better it is for you because you have more information, but they also use the information you give them better. So in a way, it becomes more useful. One thing I will say though, is use them in combination with the actual pings that we have or words. That would work as well, I guess. That will make it a lot better even at lower ranks. So you could ping your ultimate, for example, saying 10 seconds left on the cooldown and ping the enemy laner to basically say, hey, my ult is almost off cooldown and I want to fight them. You do the same with a summoner spell choice, for example, or another cooldown in team fights. Like even as the engage ping on your way or require assistance, like ping your flash cooldown with 10 seconds left or your ultimate and it makes it pretty obvious you want to fight. Whether you're master, your diamond, plat, gold, silver, bronze, even challenger actually, literally everybody should be doing this and using it properly. So hopefully you at least found this useful and have more of an idea on when to use it now or how to use it. Let me know what your favorite thing this season has been so far. Thank you for watching though if you're still here and I kind of feel like mixing it up today so I have a brand new song for you guys to listen to so I hope you enjoy it.